Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Sunday. There's a lot going on in this market right now with new road to the final players and a huge 92 plus prime or icon moments SBC. But I want to talk about specifically the investment that everyone is making right now inside of this game because it almost is too easy of an investment to make. Based off of where we see content going every single week, there is an investment right now with some fodder that has got people excited and a lot of people are buying and I, I'm with it. I think that it's a pretty good investment. So we're going to take a look at that investment, talk about why those prices could go up throughout this next part of this week and also take a look at the crazy Saturday content that was released yesterday. It was honestly a huge Saturday with road to the final cards in packs. We had man of the match cards that were dropped into packs as well. Nothing super crazy there. We had two SBCs. One of them was really, really great value from the Madueke Fantasy Foot SBC. This card is like 30,000 coins. So easy to complete. Basically, everybody should get this done for, you know, hopefully some decent upgrade packs later on this week. It's going to be so easy to do. He'll hopefully eventually be a 90 rated card. That'll be great fodder or a great player in your Eredivisie untradeable team for objectives later on down the line. And then we had the other end of the spectrum with a insane overpriced and just crazy icon moments SBC with the 92 plus. I, I don't think any of us expected this to happen and EA dropping this was really, really crazy. This had the potential to be a market killer SBC, but EA made it exorbitantly expensive and that is really not uh, dropping the market as much as it could have. So we'll talk about that as well as a lot of other things market related. The fantasy foot team two cards have gone down a lot in value um, and there's been a ton of price swings. So we'll take a look at all of that in today's video. So if you're excited for the video, hit a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about fodder. Let's talk about the, that investment that I was mentioning at the very start. This is what everybody is buying right now. And I think they have really good reason. Now you're like, Nate, fodder is going up like crazy because of that 92 plus primer moments SBC, right? Yes, but only a very small piece of the fodder market. Cards that are 89 rated and above, specifically these 90, 91, and 92s, these are the cards that are up a ton in value. Take a look at 92 Lewandowski, 94,000 coins. Yesterday, this card went from 76K to 93,000 coins in a very short time span. He's up like almost 20K. That's insane for a fodder card. It's only this really upper echelon tier of SBC fodder that is up, right? You see Harry Kane's 58,000 coins. He's usually like 45,000 coins, right? I believe even yesterday, he was like 40 something K, 49K, boom, all the way to 56, right? So crazy rises on that part of the market. That part of the market's gonna continue to have crazy demand, but there are a lot of other fodder cards at the moment 84s are all 3.5K. 85s are in the low to mid 7,000 coin range. I mean, take a look at some of these cards like Bonucci. 8,000 coins, right? He just kind of went up like a couple hundred coins, right? Take a look what's been happening the past couple weeks. These cards all get low on the weekend. Bonucci two weeks ago is 8,000 coins on the weekend. By the way, these 85s have not been in like consistently below 8K for a couple weeks, but these guys go low and then boom, during the week, usually it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, they hit their peaks. This guy goes to 10K. Last week, all 85s with that uh, campaign bag party pack went to 11 to 12,000 coins on Tuesday. I think that EA is going to bring party bag SBCs or SBCs during the week that are on that cheaper level range, right? We'll talk about maybe another icon pack coming. We could potentially have the first icon moments player SBCs coming out as soon as, as, soon as today on Sunday with some leaks that we have seen earlier this week. I just think that the low to mid tier on fodder is such a great investment right now for the next couple of days. This isn't probably going to be that long of a hold. It's most likely going to be for me. We're going to buy these cards this weekend, maybe today, um, early today into Sunday, and then probably sell them on like Tuesday or Wednesday, right? That's kind of the fodder fluctuation that I'm looking with a lot of these cards. I like the 84 to 86 rated cards the most because they are going to drop that campaign player pick again, which I think they would, and they would update at this time to include foot fantasy team two cards, or maybe even like a foot fantasy, like, um, you know, guaranteed pack party bag, something like that. I think they're going to drop more of those SBCs this week. And especially having, you know, um, hopefully better upgrade packs 
and even having the crazy expensive 92 plus icon primer moments that is out there especially some of your 86 rated cards there's two 88 squads that are a part of that sbc you know if people are using 92 Lewandowski's and stuff like that in those solutions you're going to see some 86s creep up just a little bit throughout this next week of course we're still going to have more player sbcs um but you guys know what really moves the market the most is those gamble player picks uh, 85 plus times three, those types of packs. So I think there's going to be more of those to come. Again, there's a little bit of risk involved here because we have to rely on EA dropping that content. But if there's one thing that EA have been pretty good at this year, it's been dropping gamble pack SBCs. And it seems like EA just want to drain coins off this market right now, especially with a big time SBC like this. And there's still people out there doing Mbappe. So there's still SBC demand. I like 84s to 86s. And I like, you know, seven and a half K. Of course, you know, club stock. That's what I like to do. For an investment in fodder, I like to club stock. And I, I rarely talk about fodder in this manner, but it just almost seems like too good to be true. And I just think that even though we have all these lightning rounds that EA are running um, constantly day in and day out, having some of these cards on the market, like I'm going to even go club stock a couple of these items right now in my club as I'm looking to do an Mbappe um, and complete Mbappe a little bit sooner this week or later on in this week. I'm taking a look at a few of these cards. I'm saying, okay, under 8K for a Tiago Silva that will probably go 12 or 13,000 coins if we do get that campaign party bag. Those are the types. Those are the types of rises that we we could be looking at uh, with some of these cards. So I'm not going to go through all the 85 rates right now and buy them and put them in my club because that would take way too long. But all I'm saying is, all you have to do is just go do some of this, right? Griezmann, 7,800 coins. I'm not trying to get a cheap snipe. I'm like, bang, I'm going to buy one Griezmann, put it in my club. If you do this, the way fodder has been moving every single week for 85s and 86s, even the 84s as well, it just depends on what kind of SBCs they drop, which uh, I guess you could say segment of that market, of the fodder market, moves up the most. Just buying a couple of these, putting them in the club, and then, oh, fodder is up, let me go clear out my club stock, or now I have cheaper cards to go do an SBC that is out. So I just think that fodder is a great buy. A lot of people are investing in it, which makes me like it just a tiny bit less. But I think it's it's for good reason. I think that if EA released those packs we've been talking about, those cards are inevitably going to rise during the week this week. So that's kind of how fodder is moving. But again, back to that 92 plus. Let's talk about yesterday content and yesterday market because... Uh, it was crazy. I mean, we saw a leak a couple hours before content that this upgrade pack was maybe coming soon, right? Sheriff tweeted it out. He said, hey, this has been added. It's coming soon. And it was just crazy. The fact that they released a 92 plus prime or moments icon upgrade, which is the best pack available from icon swaps. I'm in the league SBC section right now, but icon swaps. This is the best pack available. What is this? 16 tokens. And now they're saying the, the equivalent of 16 tokens on this market right now is 1.3 million coins because that's what this SBC is costing. That's wild, right? It seems like they skipped over the prime icon player pick. They skipped over like a 92 plus prime icon pack, which is also when icon swaps right now. I mean, it seems like they went from the mid or prime and the prime pack all the way over to here and they skipped a lot of stuff in the middle. So that's why it's so crazy that we see this, but also... They were crazy with the SBC and the price of the SBC. But again, honestly, this feels like even a slight bit of a test from EA Sports just to see how far people will go at any stage of the game to do a gamble pack SBC. And even though a lot of people don't like this 92% downvote on Footbin, this SBC is 1.3 million coins to complete. But again, on stream yesterday, we were opening people's uh, doing this SBC. We were opening some of the packs on Twitter. I'm seeing people open the packs. Every sort of SBC like this that EA released, since there's a gamble aspect to it, people will do it. Even though it's not good value, there will even be people that will try to craft this throughout the week. In my opinion, is it a good SBC to try and craft? Absolutely not. Unless you have some insane pack luck and we get really, really good um craftable upgrade packs this week no more 82 plus if we get like an 80 plus player pick or an 81 plus player pick and they're giving out because this week will be an insane week for crafting sbcs as well which why i think fodder is a really good investment in a club stock right now because if we do have 
good player picks this week. You talk about all the items that are in packs right now that people would want to try to pack all the while getting SBC fodder. The crazy fantasy foot team two live cards with potential upgrades. We have a road to the final mini release, which we'll talk about in a second. We have a couple man of the match cards that are in packs, even some more fodder. And we're getting a mini release from the actual uh, fantasy foot team two today on Sunday as well. It will be an insane week for player picks and crafting and grinding an SBC like this, even if it is crazy expensive, people are going to get EA to do this. So, you know, it almost feels like a test from EA, but I honestly think that it, there's going to be more SBCs that come out this week. I would not try to craft this. It's just way too expensive. I know there's a lot of great icon moments. We opened a couple of these yesterday. We had some guys packing Moments Vieira. We had some guys packing Prime Rivaldo. So again, it's a gamble pack, right? The luck is in EA's hands. Um, and, you know, it's a big gamble. It's a very expensive one. So, I'm not going to say don't do this, but you know where your account is at with coins. Most people are not going to be able to do this. Um, but if you want to, good luck. Have fun, right? Now, on the other side of the spectrum, we talked about this just briefly. I think everybody should do this SBC this week. The 87 rated Mild Awake it's two squads, 82, 83, one team of the week player. You're going to be able to get this done with like 10 player picks and your rivals rewards easily uh, is, is to get this done. 82 and 83 squads, that's just going to be so easy to do. If he does get a plus three in the next couple of weeks, he's going to be a 90 rated card, which will be a very insane item as he is four star, four star. Great for your Air Divisi squad. English links as well. Just a cool card in that manner. But also, as 30,000 coins for a 90 rated card, that's really, really cheap. So I think that's a really good SBC to do. Um, yeah, so I'm a fan of that one. It was kind of like both sides of the spectrum, as I said yesterday, with the crazy, insane SBC and the crazy, cheap SBC. That was good value. So again, other stuff that happened on the game yesterday, before we start talking about today, we had brand new road to the final items. Of course, spearheaded by the main man, Memphis Depay. These cards are incredibly rare. This Memphis actually just went from 915, 920,000 coins to 1.1 million coins. Um, as he has gotten very rare tonight. Now these cards are probably going to drop down at some point today, heading into the Sunday content time frame. Uh, you know, this card does look pretty good. Really, really insane stats, if I'm being honest. But what EA was lacking with this squad of players they released yesterday was some weak foot and skill move upgrades. Uh, this needed to be a five-star skill, four-star weak foot player. Same thing with Tiago, right? Tiago got a really nice boost. His first special card of the year on FIFA. And they did also did not boost his uh, weak foot. So he's still five-star, three-star. The card you're going to need a couple upgrades to make this look really, really insane. And I think it's a bit overpriced right now just because of the fact that it's Thiago and it's his first special card of the year. But it is nice if you're a Liverpool fan. And this guy keeps going up. He was just like 420K. Now he's 480. So that card is rising up a price. I bought myself some of this Lucas Hernandez um, earlier tonight as well. First special card of the year for him. I bought some of these in the 470 range. He has bounced back up to the 530 range as of right now. But... Nice card for him. Center back position change, low high work rates, another French center back, potential upgrades. He looks like a really good card. So a lot of hype for that one. And then, of course, Kyle Walker uh, getting a Champions League card, uh, road to the final. Nice upgrade here for him. The interesting thing to, to note about Kyle Walker is check this out, right? 89 rated. He got an upgrade on his face stats of all the different categories of stats on his face card stats, right? But when you look into it, watch as I go from his... Uh, this road to the final to the team of the year honorable mention. Watch the agility and bounce. 72 and 75 on this road to the final card. But the honorable mentions has 83 agility and 81 balance. 82 dribbling overall. 85 dribbling overall on this card. So really crazy that EA downgraded the agility balance so much on this honorable mention item. Um, but it is what it is because this card got an absolutely ridiculous boost in that area. And then this one got kind of a downgrade from it as it was just like a normal upgrade from his right, his gold card. I don't know. But that was kind of crazy to see with the Kyle Walker. Sometimes you hate to see that stuff. But overall, it is a really, really big stat juice and potential upgrades. And then on the lower end, this one's kind of interesting. There's a lot of Serie A links that are that are hitting really nice right now in this game. Maitland, Maitland Niles, um, perfect link to Tammy Abraham. Links as well to the Mkhitaryan card that so many people just did. This guy's coming in at 132,000 coins. He was just down at like 110K. He's bounced back up. 
Really nice looking card, live item, potential upgrades, perfect link to Smalling as well. So a lot of people are hyped about this dude. Does look like a pretty nice card. So overall, nice road to the finals. They're definitely gonna need to be cheaper. They're out in packs until this Friday. So we have a little bit of time to watch them drop in price. And as the fantasy foot cards from team two did yesterday, I would expect all of them to drop in price, even today on Sunday with more lightning rounds, more pack supply, depending on what EA, SBCs at EA drop. We could see um, more of those prices, of course, dropping down depending on the content today as well. So speaking of today, let's talk about today on the market. What are we expecting? Well, of course, we talked about fantasy foot cards and Sundays are normally our mini release days, right? We're expecting the Al R today. Of course, Al R is not... He was leaked to be a part of this team and he has not had a special card yet, but this is the item that we will expect to see today as a part of the mini release, right? I showed you guys yesterday once again, the cards that we are expecting today, if you missed it, are this Awar, the Alvarez from Ajax and Marino, the Hullet Gang midfielder in La Liga. Going to be pretty cheap cards for Alvarez and Marino. Awar is going to be expensive, but these are the cards we're expecting as the mini release today that were leaked earlier on so just be on the watch for that now also what we could see today is earlier in the week we had some leaks for our first icon moments player sbcs we might see those coming onto the game today it might be the earliest point for that and this might be again me speaking a little bit of ahead of time here i don't know about any leaks um, i'm just speculating because some of these icons of course the only two that we have left desai and mateus are going away. So I would hope that EA would like to uh, replace these cards here with two or maybe even more than two Icon Moments player SBCs today. That's our hope. Fingers crossed, right? That'd be something that would also be very nice to grind. Now, the players that we have had leaked for that, just again, to kind of talk over those things. So if you own any of these players, be careful with them because there might be some panic selling today if we have more leaks about these cards getting uh, their actual player SBC today. Socrates was one of the first leaks that we had last week and also Ashley Cole. So Ashley Cole and Socrates would be the first two cards probably expected to see moments SBCs for because of the leaks. Now, we also have had two more recent ones, Del Piero, and Schmeichel. So this Del Piero card, really nice center attacking mid. Um, of course, really nice boost on the moments card with the five-star weak foot. It all depends on the price when EA released these SBCs. Hopefully, they cut them uh, They cut them down in price a decent amount. Of course, when the SBC leaks happen, the Schmeichel is like 500K. Rui Costa, not Rui Costa, Ashley Cole is also about 500,000 coins. So hopefully, when EA released these SBCs, they do it at a decent value. And right now, as long as they're not requiring 88 or 89 rated squads in any of these icon player SBCs, which, you know, maybe they will require one or two for a guy like Socrates, who's around 1.3 mil. Hopefully his SBC price would be around like 1.1. You know, the, the SBCs shouldn't be that overpriced because again, like we talked about at the beginning of the video, the part of the market that's very overpriced is that elite tier of the fodder, like the 89s, 90s to 92s, that's all overpriced right now, but the rest of the market's pretty low. So if they do release an SBC, hopefully most of the, the challenges will require, you know, 84s to 87s, and then that'll be okay. And they'll make these SBCs look like a lot better value if that's the case. So we'll be looking out for that today. That's potential, definitely not guaranteed. I would be surprised if they drop two back-to-back -back insane days of content two days in a row. Honestly, I'd be very surprised if they did that because that's just not really like EA to do, especially this last week where we had like last Tuesday was hype, but then last Wednesday was really quiet. And then Monday was quiet, but then Thursday was kind of a little bit more hype. So hopefully today is maybe a step backwards a little bit, but maybe if they drop icon player SBCs, that would be nice. So we shall see, but that's kind of what's going on and expect expectations for today's content on Sunday, cards and packs, and maybe a moments SBC. Other than that, don't know what else EA would do. More lightning rounds, more supply on the market, stuff like that. Now, again, like we talked about, these fantasy foot cards are down. And if you have any of these cards, I think that especially for the higher tier items, we'll take a look at these price drops. They're still really rare. So they fluctuate a lot. Like this Martinelli just went from 490 back up to 530 off of rarity. That's the thing with these cards. They're so rare. So they bounce around on the market all the time. So missed a bit of a fluctuation there. Usman was 5 million flat, literally just 15, 20 minutes ago. He's back up to 5.3, closing in on 5.4. That's what happens when you have these really rare cards. Like I mentioned, Depay was down at 900K, right? I can, I can show you the graph. 
you take a look at Depay, he was started off at 1.2, went all the way down to 924, and is rebounded back to 1.1, just purely off of the rarity, because these cards are brand new, people want to try them out, right? Again, I bought these Lucas Hernandez cards, I bought a bunch of them at 470, right? He is back up to 500 and uh, 30,000 coins. So that's kind of what you see with these cards. Now with these Foot Fantasy 2s, you you might see a few of them fluctuate back. Wow, Alexandro is 139,000 coins. Excuse me. Wow, that's really, really low. I'm going to take a look at this card really quick and see if he's getting rare potentially for a bounce back, uh, which he might be. How many cards do we have to 150? One page, two page. All right, so on the lower tier cards like this, it's harder to judge that supply and demand. But like the Martinelli that we were just talking about, right? These cards, yes, they're going to bounce back after their, their prices have bounced uh, or have gone down a lot. You know, Martinelli, I was selling him at 600. I sold one at 630,000 coins yesterday before the content drop. He was just 490. Now he's 530. These cards are probably going to drop more into Friday night tonight. But again, one thing I want you guys to start thinking about is when we have more price drops on these cards today, what, one thing to always watch for every Sunday night into Monday is that weekend league rewards rise. You oftentimes see a lot of people buy cards after they get their weekend league rewards. Coutinho, who was extinct at 3 mil, is now 2.3. So you, again, you see these cards going down. They're just really, really rare. So you kind of have to watch out for that. And if you do have some more price drops today, then I would 100% keep watching for a potential bounce back from Sunday night into Monday morning. I know that I'm kind of talking like into the future here a little bit, but that's kind of been the movement on a lot of these cards. So just keep an eye out. Uh, later tonight on Sunday for any of these that you may want to pick up for your for your team for a one to two day hold. I would not hold these cards for very long, but the most hyped up ones, the ones that are the most popular, probably going to, all of them are probably going to drop down a, a little bit lower today for sure. Uh, like Sissoko last night went from 480 back to over 500,000 coins. But right now, what is he down to? He's 405. Sissoko is 405, maybe starting to rise up a little bit. How many do we have to like 450? We got one page. We got two pages. Okay, man, this guy is rare. So like I would maybe take a look at, at Sissoko right now tonight and try to snag some. There was one on bid there. Yeah, 393. Like maybe try to snag one of these at like 400K and then I might be able to sell this at like 450 or, or 440, right? For a small flip. That's the kind of stuff you can be doing with these cards. You just kind of have to learn the windows, watch the windows and, and you'll see the fluctuations because they do move a lot in price. So that's kind of the stuff that I would watch out for today. But most of all, or most likely, you're going to see those cards keep dropping just because that's kind of what happens. Now, this Lucas Hernandez for me is looking really nice. I just can't get the sales. I can't get the sales right now, man. I have a couple of these listed up at like 535 and they're just not going. 530 sold on that one. Uh, I'm going to bid 400 on this Sissoko and then hopefully win it. But I'm going to list this Hernandez right now. I do have a decent amount of cards still on my transfer list. And again, I'm probably going to be coming back to this just about every video and showing you guys the Fantasy Team 1 cards that I still have um, because, like I mentioned, I'm, I'm holding, right? I mean, I'm holding the Klosterman. I'm holding the Stones that I bought. I bought Stones uh, at, what, 390 385 And Stones right now on the market is up to like 450,000 coins, right? So a lot of these cards from Foot Fantasy Team Number 1 have continued to rise. Um, unless they get stupid rare and they spike up like another 100K, like uh, Jelson yesterday, Saturday morning, uh, was uh, up to like 650,000 coins, 640. Is he going back up there again? Wow, that's if, if this guy goes to like 650 again for just a two-day hold, that's so much profit, I would look to take the money in my opinion. But these guys don't get upgraded still until after April 1st. And unless anything crazy comes in the market, they're just gonna keep being high up in price and pretty rare for the most part. So as these cards continue to get uh, rare um, and as people go out and buy them, like Kamavinga is approaching 600K. Um, let's see, D D Donnie Vandebeek, right? This guy was 120,000 coins. He is now almost 160K, right? Low, mid-tier, all of these foot fantasy cards continue to rise up in price. I'm holding strong. There's no reason right now. I know that we had that crazy icon SBC yesterday, but that didn't really affect any of these card prices. Um, e even like on Alan St. Maxman, right? Alan St. Maxman is still, if I could search his card up, like 4 million coins, right? Even though Usman is out, this card is still 4 mil because it's all about those potential upgrades with these cards. They're staying pretty high in value. So finally, we're getting some sales in. Let's go, Lucas Hernandez. I will take those. All right, I'm going to take these sales because I'm, I'm liking the profits, like 30 to 40K a card on some of these Hernandez, which is very, very nice. So I'm going to take some of these sales into my Sunday on FIFA 22. Hopefully, 
just hopefully we get those icon uh, moments player SPCs today. That would be very, very nice. Of course, uh, we'll be looking out for the mini release. And if EA have anything else to surprise us with, then uh, we will take that in stride as it drops on the game. Hope you all having a great weekend once again, of course. And thank you for all the birthday wishes yesterday. I had a very, very good birthday. I appreciate all the well wishes on Twitter, on the stream and everything. Much appreciated, lads. So again, if you did enjoy the video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate for the count and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.